In this short tutorial, we are gonna fix MW3 not launching problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. I recommend watching the video once before trying solutions. Last year, I made a video about MW2 not launching and it was watched by over 100,000 people helping them solve the issue. I hope this video will also be useful to you. The first solution consists of 5 steps. The first thing we need to do is disable full screen optimizations. To do this, we open Steam, right click on code and click on browse local files from the manage section. We have opened the file location for MW3. The file we need to find here is the code file. Scroll down and locate this file. After finding it, right click on this file, then click on properties. Then click on compatibility and tick disable full screen optimizations. To save the changes we made, click on apply and then ok to close this window. After doing this, click on documents on the left and delete the Call of Duty folder. This will not harm more game files. For the next step, we go to the search section and open graphic settings. After doing this, click on browse. What we are gonna do here is find the file location of MW3. If you haven't chosen to install the game elsewhere, it should be on the C drive. Since I installed it on the D drive, I click on the D drive, then open the Steam folder. After doing this, double click on Steam apps and then common. Then open the code folder. From within this folder, select the code file and click on add. After doing this, click on options and tick high performance and don't use optimizations for Windows games. Then click on save and close this window. I found the third step on the Steam forum and I want to include it in the video. It worked for the person who shared it. To do this, we click on privacy and security on the left and then click on Windows security. In the protection area section, we click on app and browser control. Scroll down and click on exploit protection settings. What we need to do here is set force randomization for images to on by default. After doing this, we need to restart our computer but we will do that at the end of the solution. Another step is to close background and overlay apps. Some programs can prevent the game from launching, so we will close them. To do this, we go to the search section and open task manager. What we need to do here is to close programs that we know what they do, but are unnecessary while playing the game. Especially, we need to close keyboard and mouse applications anti-cheat programs and overlay programs. To close the programs we want, we right click on them and click on end task. We have closed unnecessary applications running in the background. Additionally, we will disable Steam's overlay. To do this, we open Steam and right click on code. After that, we click on properties. Then, if enable the Steam overlay while in game is toggled on, we toggle it off. The last step we need to do is to verify the game files. The cause of the problem could be missing game files. To complete these files, we open properties. Then, on the left side, we click on installed files. After doing this, you can verify the game files by clicking verify. This process will verify any missing or corrupted files. Since the game is large, this process may take some time. After the verification process is complete, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem persists, we will move on to the second solution. Also, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. The second solution is to reset the game without uninstalling it. This reset process is essentially a reinstallation but without the need to reinstall the entire game. To do this, we open Steam and right click on code. Then we click on browse local files from manage. After doing this, we click on common from the top. First, we create a folder here. The name of the folder doesn't matter. You can write whatever you want. 
After doing this, we open the code folder and select all the files inside with Ctrl A. Then, we cut these files with Ctrl X. Now, we will paste these files into the newly created folder. Here, what we need to do is to cut the files, not copy them. If you copy, this process takes a very long time. We moved our game's files to the folder we created. Now we open Steam and uninstall code. When we click uninstall, it will delete the empty code folder. As you can see, the code folder is deleted, but our game files are still here. Now we open Steam again and click install. We click install again without making any changes. As you can see, the code folder is recreated. After the game starts to download, we click pause and uninstall code again. This time, the game folder will not be deleted. Now, what we need to do is to remove our game files to where they belong, which is inside the code folder. We select the files with Ctrl A and cut them with Ctrl X. After doing this, we paste the files into the code folder. We moved our game files. Now we open Steam and install code again. Once again, we click install without making any changes. Now, what Steam will do is not re-download the game files but verify these files. This solution worked for MW2 and it will work for MW3 as well. As you can see, it's not downloading anything. It is using just our disk. The validation process will also take some time but it won't take as long as uninstalling and reinstalling the game. After the validation process is complete, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the third solution. The third solution is to move the game to another disk. Here, what you need to do is to move the game from one disk to another. If the game is installed on C drive, move it to D drive. And if it's on D drive, move it to C drive. Sometimes, the not launching problem can be disk related. To do this, we open Steam. Click on Steam in the top left, then open Settings. After doing this, we click on Storage and then click on our drive. Then we click on Add Drive. Afterward, we select C drive. The drive's name might be different. Once selected, we click on Add. To move the game, we choose Code, then click on Move. After doing this, you can select the edit drive and click move. I can't do this because there isn't enough space on my drive, but you can do it this way. The fourth solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game. Sometimes what we need is a clean installation. You can right click on code, uninstall the game and then download it again. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.